Wicket is an easy to use and engaging online tool that allows students to play trivia and review games. You can start by creating a free account with the username and password or linking your Google email. Once you log in, the dashboard is the first thing that pops up. This is where you will find your news, your question sets, your favorites, homework, and history. In order to host a live game, you have to have a question set. You have the option to make a question set specific to your class or under the Discover tab, there are pre-made question sets. There are hundreds of them that you can choose from or to narrow down your search, you can use the search bar. Here is one for example, multiplication facts. As you can see, it shows the questions along with the answers, how much time the students have to answer the question, as well as the option to present the questions in order or in random. There are two different options. To host, you as a teacher chooses this one so that multiple students can play at once. There's also a solo option if a student decides they want to do it individually. Once you click the host button, there are different kinds of game modes that you can choose from. Once you pick a game mode, it will say either host game or it will also have a homework option. When you click homework, it takes you to a page where it shows when the homework is due, you have the option to change the time that it's due as well as the title of the homework. There are no goals for this specific game. However, sometimes there are, I know for the factory game mode, there um, are different goals that you can set for your homeworks. Once you assign the homework, you can share the code or link that comes pops up here. It also shows you when the homework closes and you will be able to see what questions students are getting right and wrong and be able to track their progress throughout the game as well as throughout the year. Instead of hosting a game, you can also choose to, I'm sorry, instead of choosing to assign homework, you can also choose to host a game. There are options in the setting page for hosting a game. You can see the total amount of minutes that the game is going to be played, um, as well as a couple other settings. And all I have to do is host now, and there will be music playing, but there will be a game ID that you will share with the students so that they can join in on their computers in order to get right to the live game, the amount of players, will pop up, hopefully it is all the right amount. Both of these options are great, homework and hosting live games for in-person learning as well as remote learning, which is very important nowadays. I hope this video has helped you future educators in integrating sites like Blicklet into your classroom.